There we go. That's a picture of Alice. Let's see, her head is over there. And we're still on Tuesday. I've been having a couple friends stop by and visiting. And um, I wanted to finish some thoughts that I had. you got to understand, everything I'm doing is extemporaneous. Nothing is written down. Um, just thoughts. And traveling, I've been across the Oregon Trail many times. Uh, haven't really been on it, just cutting across it. And I heard an interesting statistic a while back. Um, the leading cause of death on the Oregon Trail was people falling asleep and falling in front of the wagon and getting run over. I haven't been able to verify that, but I think it was the Discovery Channel that came up with that. I uh, could be wrong. Right or wrong is kind of an interesting thought. I can see how it happens because you're exhausted all the time. I've almost fallen out the window a couple times on the wagon, so I'm real careful about that. Um, but along those lines, I, I wanted to share something with you to think about. You know, I've tried to get somebody to ride the wagon with me and do things with me. And, oh, that's too hard. Oh, I, I've got to have my comforts. You know, America was settled by people going across the country. And it's a good thing it was done then. Because nowadays, I don't think you could find enough people to do the Oregon Trail to settle the other side. The statistics were somewhere around 350,000 people went across on the trail. Nowadays, holy shit, you'd never get that many people who can do it or would do it. Um... It's a good thing our country was settled when it was because there's no real pioneer spirit left in people. Um, to me, it's really no big deal to do it. You just do it. Comfort is all a state of mind. You know, I've been in a lot of situations that are just flipping miserable for most people, and I was very comfortable. My wagon is a classic case. It's warm in the winter, kind of miserable in the summer. Um, keeps the rain off my head, uh, place to sleep, works out quite well. What do you really need? And that's that to me, I think, is the difference. We've, as a society, have shifted from what is a necessity to thinking that a luxury is a necessity. And let me put it real bluntly and little, real plainly. Shelter, water, fire, food, in that order. It's the sacred order, according to the Apache, and they knew more about survival than anybody. Um, we've lost sight of that now. We've got to have a shower, and we've got to have air conditioning. Is it nice? Absolutely it's nice, but you don't have to have it. People need to redetermine their priorities a little bit. So, that was pretty much my observations finished for today, and... Hope you guys are all having a good afternoon, and I'll say yee-haw here.